hi everyone welcome back to my channel i'm super excited to be back here today with another lovely tutorial if this is the first time you are visiting my channel you are highly welcome to the family please kindly hit on the subscribe button and the notification bell so as to get notified when i upload new videos and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for coming back let's dive into the video in today's tutorial we'll be creating this lovely kimono jacket we'll be making use of this fabric which is called african print i'll be using two yards of it you can use three yards of the african print if you are on a bigger size and then we'll be making use of our tape rule, our scissors and also our chalk so guys first thing to do is to open up your two yards of fabric like this you make sure you open everything out then you fold the fabric equally into two as i am doing after folding it into two equally i'll go ahead to fold it into two again this is practically folded into four the reason why it was folded into four is because we'll be cutting the front and the back parts together as you can see this is it it's folded into four after doing all that we'll begin taking all our body measurements we'll go by marking out our shoulder line first before taking other measurements i'll be marking half inches at the tip of my fabric that'll be serving as the shoulder line On my shoulder line, I'll be taking my bust points, which is 9 inches. I'll mark out the 9 inches. Also from my shoulder line, I'll be taking my jacket length. I'll be using 35 inches for my jacket length. I'll mark out the 35 inches there. And then I'll be adding extra 2 inches for the sewing allowance. So 1.5 inches for the sewing allowance of the down, half inches for the sewing allowance of the shoulder, that makes it the two inches I added for the sewing allowance. So I'll be marking it there like this. After that, I'll go over to my shoulder line to mark out my jacket shoulder length, meaning how wide you want your jacket to be on the shoulder area. So I'll be using 15 inches for that, and then I'll be adding extra one inches for the sewing allowance. I'll mark it there like this. And then you can use um, 20 inches for that, you can use 16, you can use 17, depending on how you want it wide. I'll be taking my sleeve length, which is 7.5 inches, so I added extra 1 inches for the ease. I'll mark it there like this. Then I'll be taking my bust measurement, which is 38 inches. I'll divide 38 inches into 4. You can easily fold your tape rule into 4 like this to get that. So I'll divide it into four like this and then whatever I have there, I'll mark it on my bust points. After that, you'll be adding some extra inches there. You know, it's a free jacket, so you definitely need to add extra inches to it. So I'll be using four inches for that. You can use five, six, depending on how wide you want it to be. So from that 8.5 inches, I'll connect it to that point. So that same measurement is what I will take all the way to the length of my jacket. So I'll mark it there like this. I'll use my tape root to trace that out. What we will do next is to mark out the neckline. Take note that the front neckline is always different from the back neckline. I'll start by marking the back neckline first. I'll use 3 inches for the width of the neck. And then 1.5 inches for the length. I'll connect both points together to get a curved neck. From my shoulder line, I'll place my tape rule to mark my front neck length. I'll be using 15 inches for that. I'll mark the 15 inches. From the 15 inches, I'll go in by 3 quarter inches. I'll mark it there. From that point, I'll connect it to the width of the neck. I'll connect both points there like this. That three quarter I mark, I'll mark it all the way to the length of the jacket. So as you can see, we've gotten the back neckline and also the front neckline. So we'll be cutting the back neckline together with the sleeve, but you won't cut the front neckline. You know, you can't cut both the front and the back together because the neck for the back is different from the front one. So we have to cut that out first before cutting the front neck. The 
this is it after I was done cutting. So we'll separate the back from the front to cut the front neckline. You will make sure you arrange the fabric very well before cutting out the neckline. If you have followed me to this point of the tutorial, I want to say a very, very big thank you to you all. Thank you for always being consistent. Thank you for the love, for the support. And also, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please do well to subscribe to my channel. I'm waiting for you to do that. Thank you. As you can see, I'm done cutting the front neckline. It came out really nice. I'll pick the back. You spread it out as I am doing like this. You spread it out like this. Pick one part of the front. Then you place it on the back. You make sure they are both laying on each other very well. You place it there like this. And then the half inches I added for the shoulder sewing allowance. We'll be holding that. We'll take it to the machine to sew. And then for the other side of the shoulder too, we'll be doing the same thing this is it after i was done sewing the shoulder area as you can see i've gone ahead to weave that part too i did the same thing to the other side of the shoulder too i weave that area the next step is to fold the sleeve you know i added one inches for the folding of the sleeve so if you want to fold your sleeve in you fold it where i am doing like this so at the tip of that one inches is where you'll be sewing on we'll be repeating the same thing for the other side of the sleeve too and then we'll take it to the machine to sew i've done the sewing of both sleeves as you can see so this is how it is after i was done sewing this is the first part the second side of the sleeve and the next step is to sew the sides of the dress so you go ahead to arrange the dress properly you arrange the fronts on the back very well We'll be using half inches to hold the sides of the dress. We'll use half inches to hold this side of the dress and then half inches to hold the other side of the dress too. So we'll take it to sew. I've sewn both sides of the kimono. As you can see, I've also gone ahead to weave both sides and then I've ironed it too. It's looking very nice. So the next step is to attach the band to the front of the kimono. As you can see in the picture above, there is a band at the front of the kimono. As you can see in the picture, a different fabric was used in cutting out the band and the sleeve area. I won't be using a different fabric for that. I'll be using this my normal fabric to cut out the band. So if you want to use a different fabric for your band, you can do that. So to get the length of our band, I'll measure around the front slit so as to know the length of fabric to cut out for the band. So from the length of my kimono, I'll place my tape there and then measure around. So I'll measure it around like this. As you can see, I have a full tape already. At that point, I'll place my tape there again to measure what I have left. So whatever I get there, I'll add it to the 60 inches and that will give me the length of the band i will advise not to use the exact measurements you get you should add some extra inches to the length of the band you can add like four inches five inches extra so as to avoid a situation of the band getting shorter so as you can see i've cut out the band already for the wideness of the band i used four inches so four inches you'll be folding it into two just as i did so that'll give you two inches so from that two inches you use half an inch to attach it to the dress that'll remain 1.5 inches so from the length of the dress you place it on it like this and then you attach it round the slits you sew it round like that and then you also fold the down area you know i added 1.5 inches for that so i'll be folding in the 1.5 inches this is the outcome after attaching the band to the slit area as you can see i've whipped that area i've ironed it too and then the the down part i've done that too i've ironed it it's looking really really nice and yeah we've come to the end of this tutorial if you are yet to subscribe to my channel 
please kindly help me subscribe to my channel help me like this video comments and then if you have any questions to ask me you can do that in the comment section i'll see you in my next one bye